Hello. Okay. Okay, so I've been working with WordPress for quite some time now, and um, I've been loving the way it has come to be the right tool for the job in so many different cases, like uh, e-commerce and uh, corporate CMS, social networks. And one thing these kinds of projects often have in common is uh, complex design requirements regarding images. They need to be responsive, they need to be lazy, uh, they need to be indexed, of course, and sometimes they also need to be art-directed, and uh, we'll see what that means later on. So, once upon a time, uh, to achieve all of this, all we had was the max width 100% trick, which uh, makes your web page look okay in basically any device, but has the drawback of picking a huge image like this one and serving it to a tiny device like this one here with probably limited bandwidth and connectivity. Which nowadays is basically unacceptable since we have resolution switching, which is a way we can tell the browser to use different images on different screen sizes. And this you do by marking up your image tag with two extra attributes, the source set and the sizes. The source set is uh, basically a list of images at different resolutions. So same image, same aspect ratio, different sizes. And then the sizes attribute we use to tell the browser which image to pick according on screen width. In this example, we have uh, a source set ranging from 160 pixels width to 480, and two media conditions, and then a default condition to be used when the, the previous two uh, aren't satisfied. So how does this work in practice? On a small device, we will be we will fall in the first case, which tells the browser to look for images which are 50 viewport width for units, which basically means 50% of the screen size. And on a small device, this will probably mean the smaller image of our range. But moving on to a larger device and nearer to the first 960 breakpoint will probably mean picking the largest image in our range. And then after that, we move on to a second media condition. In this case, we're telling the browser to look for images which are 25% of the viewport. And so between these two breakpoints, that will probably mean picking one of these two images, either 250 or 300, which incidentally are more or less a quarter of these two breakpoint size. And then eventually, uh, upper of the 1200 breakpoint, uh, our design dictates that the layout won't be expanding anymore, so we can just stick to the default 300 pixel width. Now, you might have noticed that I've been intentionally using words like likely and probably, because one thing you need to keep in mind when using source it and sizes is that the browser is going to try and be smart. So this means, for instance, if uh, your media condition dictates that um, you should be picking a small image size, but the browser has um, cached, previously cached a larger image, the browser won't bother downloading the smaller resolution. It will just use the larger one that, is, that it, it has cached. And this the browser can do because this is intended to work on images with the same aspect ratio. So the browser is pretty confident that it can pick whatever image, version image you, um, he, he, he sees fits. And this won't break your layout because all the images have the same aspect ratio. Now this is surprisingly easy to, to work with in WordPress 
since it's um, baked into core from version 4.4, .4, and um, depending on your on your design, you might need to take a couple of simple extra steps. One being uh, the definition of a few more image sizes, because you probably, you, the, mm, the default uh, small, medium, large, that you usually define in your media options at min screen, probably won't be enough if you're really using resolution switching. So you might want to add extra image sizes, and you need to make sure they all have the same aspect ratio. If you do this, WordPress will automatically populate your source set attribute, and that leaves us to cater for the sizes, the sizes attribute. And for this, we have two handy hooks uh, that you can use either to just brutally hard code your sizes value, or you can do, of course, you can do more complicated stuff with conditionals and so. But um, in any case, you should look look up in the source. If you want to use this, you should look up these hooks in the source and see exactly what they do. Now, all this is fine and dandy if you want to work with images with the same aspect ratio. But if someone comes up with a comp like this, source it and sizes won't, won't cut it anymore. Because look, look at all the different um, aspect ratios. Small landscape, small portrait, then a square, then another landscape, but not so wide, then again a wide landscape. Uh, but larger, and this you, you just can't do with, with, with sources and sizes. For this, you need another solution, which is the picture markup. The picture markup is actually even easier to understand than the source set and sizes, and um, it's pretty straightforward. Every, every a source tag has two attributes. A source it again that you can ba you can you can even use just to specify only one image. This is what we're doing for the sake of a simple example, and um, and of course a media query. And this media query is actually these media queries are full blown media queries as you would be writing in your CSS, which is different from uh, what you would be doing in the sizes attribute. Those are called media conditions and are not so powerful. Here, you can basically use what you already know from your CSS. So, it's pretty straightforward to understand what this code does. And uh, so, this device clearly satisfies this media condition of portrait orientation and a relatively small uh, width. So, the small portrait version will be picked. And um, Moving on, if the same device is in landscape, you will be using the small landscape. And then moving up, you'll then be picking the square. And then again, a landscape, but not so wide. And then again, um, the, the larger landscape. Uh, but there are, there's one more aspect <laughs> other than the ratio in using picture, and that is the crop. Because add direction means change aspect ratio, but also change the crop, probably. And to illustrate this, you can look at this image, and it's a bit boring, and the subject is, is um, right at the center, which means you can crop this image all day long, and it will always fit in your viewports, and there will never be any ambiguity on what this image is about. But if you use a slightly more interesting image where your subject is not exactly at the center, like this one, where your product is this, and this is other stuff, okay? And while you crop this thinner and thinner, you will eventually realize that at some croppings, your product is completely cut out, okay? So this clearly doesn't work. So in our direction, not only you need to cater for different aspect ratios, but also different crops. This is how it should be. This is just automatic centered cropping, which won't work. 
this is a proper full example of art direction and see and, and here you can see you have a basically a manual croppings and possibly on smaller resolutions also zoom for clarity so um, to sum up when you're using the picture and source solution um, you don't have this kind of limitations we had with the sources and sizes solution because um, the browser will obey your media queries to the letter so no smart uh, behaviors and you won't need to worry about the aspect ratios anymore you can use whatever aspect ratio you want and this is also quite easy to to work with in WordPress basically four easy steps you need to take Number one, um, you need to include a polyfill because browsers haven't, not all browsers have caught up with this picture and source business. So uh, to level the playground on the browsers, you need a polyfill. Unfortunately, we have two of them. Both work very well. All you need to do is choose one and enqueue the script as you usually do. And um, it will just work out of the box. Uh, Again, you will probably have to add some image sizes. In this case, you won't need to bother about having the same aspect ratio, of course. Then you need to, somewhere to save your source and um, media queries and, and image sizes. So you could create a very simple data structure, which is basically an array where the key is your media query and the value is the image sizes you just registered over here you then pick up here to build your structure um, of, of source media and source sets and then of course you need a function to generate the markup according to an attachment ID and one of these formats you, you will have registered previously. So it'd be rather boring to go through this code here now just to generate some markup, but I, I made a plugin that you can use uh, to experiment with this picture stuff, which is pretty cool. And all you have to do is just drop it in your, in your WordPress and, and it'll work and you can, you can start making experiments. There's one more thing uh, we need to know, uh, we need to be able to do to properly implement our direction and that is the crop. And fortunately this is WordPress so we have a really cool plugin for this. This is a total lifesaver and um, it basically it adds a screen to your media to your media um, uh, administration that allows you to individually crop any image size including the ones that you might have defined, uh, your custom image sizes you might have defined. Uh, um, of course, you, you might be thinking, what about the C SEO? Because if the browser doesn't fully understand picture yet, what about the bots? And of course, the bots don't understand it either, but Google passes JavaScript. So once you include the polyfill, to make it work for the browser, it works for the Google bot as well, and your images marked up as picture and source will be found in indexes. And this is true even if you use lazy loading, because also your lazy loading JavaScript will be passed. For the other not so smart bots uh, for search engines, you'll just have to find a clever way to include other resolutions in the source. Um, so, that's it. Here you have the repo. Mm, go and check it. Give it a star. Download it. Try the picture. And um, that's it. Okay. Abbiamo spazio per una domanda. Just one question. Well, thank you. Uh, can I use one of these solutions inside the post content? Inside the post content, uh, 
if you set up the image and so the source it and size solution properly, it will just work. If you want to use the picture solution inside the contact, um, you will have to either find a way to know your attachment ID beforehand using advanced custom field or something like that, or you can develop maybe a short code to insert a picture short code in your contact that will be passed as a short codes usually are.